I just can't say enough about these things. Hold the phone. You need to try these. Pretzel crisps dark chocolate crunch. Guys, have you lived before? Like these things are the best. I'm not talking about like the flips. These things are the jam. You can buy these at Sam's Club for like $6 and the bag is bigger than my face. They go very well with Starbucks. Hey guys, it's Chelsea. I figured about three months ago, I started collecting a bunch of stuff that I used up, like products, and I wanted to do an empty video. So I figured, you know, once I get all this stuff collected, I'll do it. If you've never seen what an empty video is, pause this video, get a new video browser up, type in YouTube empty product videos, like this empty product videos and you will find hundreds of thousands of people uh their videos on product empties empty products i don't know one of the two anyways they are one of my favorite videos to watch because not only do you see what people are using up you get many reviews about them so it's like a two for one you know i decided i would like hoard all the products that i've used up and then tell you about them so that's what we're gonna do um these two products are about to be eaten and drinking so i like them a lot just saying first product is going to be a dry shampoo now this is currently day three hair and i use this dry shampoo this is the bastine 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 and it's paisley it smells like floral it's great i think this is like my fifth bottle in like three months i use a lot of dry shampoo next another dry shampoo i didn't really like this one i would prefer this one over this one buy this don't buy this next is a hairspray and i really do like this one my favorite is still the uh big sexy hair for like a higher end and then the tresemme for like a drugstore but this dove one is like just under tresemme so used it up love it would repurchase uh keeping with the hair trend conditioner pantene this is a bb cream for your hair and at first when i saw this i was like huh that's weird but it says smooth boost shine and more i really like this i don't condition my hair every day because i don't wash my hair every day but i you basically use it on my shaft and down that's your shaft right like here and down my shaft and down and um in the shower this this is my holy grail blonde conditioner it's a little pricey it's like 38 dollars at ulta that's kind of a lot of for a conditioner but i go about 10 to 11 weeks without getting my hair done and this is why i can get all the brassiness out with this it's amazing people will ask me if i've gotten my hair done recently i'm like no girl, I'll just use this beauty. Next in the shower, shaving. I used to use shaving cream like back in the day in like high school. Then I stopped because I was a poor college student and I'm like, why would I buy shaving cream when I can just use like conditioner on my legs? And it's really good actually. And I thought the raspberry mist like scent would irritate my legs because I have really like dry sensitive skin everywhere. So I thought this would irritate didn't i would definitely purchase this on my own next in the shower is some shower gel and this is from bath and body works and it is a super fruit so it's a body scrub and a wash now i don't shave with this um because there is like those little seeds or like micro beads in it but it smells real nice continuing on in the shower this is a face scrub that i use and i've probably bought like seven of these in my lifetime no probably more but it's just the target brand and it is the blackhead facial scrub and it's compared to the clean and clear blackhead facial scrub this is a good face cleanser next is my beloved face cleanser that i'm currently using now i'm on my third bottle of this and this is by uh the garnier clean and it is one of their newer um one of their newer lines and it is the nourishing cleansing oil so this dissolves impurities and makeup and it's for dry skin so this really gets my eye makeup off and it also really hydrates my chin and my nose and those are my big dry spots so i am on my like third bottle of this 
and I think I'm almost done with that in my shower. So this stuff is amazing. And you can find coupons for this. And I think it's only like five or six bucks. It's really, really good. I think this is the last thing for the shower, but it's just a shower gel and it's by Soft Soap and it's in the scent Sweet Honeysuckle and Orange Peel. And smells just like I said. It's nice. I think I have like eight of these in my like stockpile from couponing and I just always get like different kinds and this is one of my favorite. Also in the shower is this little guy and it's not something you kind of like use up but it's just by Earth Therapeutics and it's just like a little facial like brush that I would put either the product on here or on my face and like lightly like scrub it into my skin but I retired it basically I'm done using it it's dirty it's just seen better days so wouldn't repurchase I didn't really notice a difference to be honest without using like a washcloth or one of these so I would just use a washcloth also from an influencer box is this little guy and this has seen better days but it had like some product in it and you lightly buffed your face with it I wouldn't recommend it I wouldn't buy it again I didn't see a difference so Sorry, not working. I've used both of these up. Hated, hated, hate this. This like hurt my armpits to put on. It was not moisturizing. I felt like I smelled. So I don't even think I used this up. I, yep, you know, there's still stuff in there, but I just, ugh, I wanna tell you, don't buy a ban, it's disgusting. This is where it's at. This is the pH balance um, kind too. Um, I always felt fresh to death in this stuff and I will only be repurchasing Secret. I have tons of deodorant from couponing, but I'm donating it. I, I can't, my armpits are so sensitive that if I use anything but Secret on it, they like break out and I look like I have acne on my armpits. That's not a cute look. Let's move on to makeup. This is my beloved Carmax, and what's so cool about this is it's in a twist off. So as you can see, that's as much as I have left. Not a lot, buy this. This is Carmax, but just in a twist off form so you don't have to like dig your finger into that pot and like put it on and then like look around where you're gonna wipe your finger, you know? You know what I'm saying? I know you do it, cause I do it. Next is a foundation and this is by Maybelline. This is the Dream Smooth Mousse and my color is in 200 Creamy Natural and I have like licked this clean. Not really, I don't eat foundation. I'm not on that one of those like weird My Strange Addiction shows or anything, but. Next is a mascara, and this is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. This thing is awesome. I'm just out of it. Uh, the wand, let me see. Oh yeah, it's a nice big like plastic wand. Um, I am gonna wash this wand off and like sanitize it and then use it in other mascaras that I like the formula but I don't like the wand so there's a trick if you like a wand and it's the plastic version save it next is an eye primer and this is just the mini um, urban decay one and this is from my uh, naked palette that I got I used it up pretty fast and I would definitely buy this again but I think there's other options out there that aren't as expensive as this so good but there's better cheaper alternatives another eye product is this Revlon brow fantasy let me tell you it ain't no fantasy don't buy it the brow gel that came in it I think I used twice it there was like nothing in it and then this brow pencil it just didn't match so I'm calling this a no go and I'm tossing you last but not least is my little face primer by Smashbox and this is in the photo finish uh, foundation primer. I got this at the little like roundabout thing when you check out of Ulta and great, but I didn't really notice like a difference in my foundation of like how it wore. I really do love the benefit um, primer, like professional one. And I think I'll just probably stick with that. It's a little pricey, but my foundation just looks flawless with it. So I hope you enjoyed all of my hoarding tendencies of products. If you have any recommendations on products that I've mentioned that maybe I should try, leave them down below. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye! Oh, did I tell you I love Starbucks? They do, they do so much. If you guys watch my vlogs, what do you think's in this cup? Two, three guesses.
blonde coffee sugar-free vanilla and soy milk. 